Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the COUNTIFS function to pull off information from two different columns. So in the example on the screen, I've got a list of dates and a list of statuses. I want to know how many of the status are complete within the last 10 days and how many of the status is overdue within the last 10 days. So this is the function that will do that for you. And I'm going to recreate that over on this side of the screen in a second. So it's a COUNTIFS function, which allows you to test multiple criteria. So if I copy this information, just copy this list and paste it over here. And just widen that. And I'll call this test and I'll call that stat just to change it and then I'm going to use name so I'll highlight that onto the formulas tab create from selection top row use these two words to name these columns yep okay so I've named them now I need a an example of one of these so basically I'll put complete and overdue now this needs to be exactly the same as it is typed here. I've noticed over the last few weeks when I've been doing training sessions that some people are putting spaces after words when they type. That is a different word to that word. So try to avoid that. If you find yourself doing that, just make sure there's no spaces afterwards. Otherwise, you'll have to do find and replace to get rid of them all. So the formula is equals count ifs open the bracket so the criteria range I've named test so I should just be able to type test test comes up I don't need to double click on it but you can do comma the criteria range for that is in the last 10 days so this is where I have to use concatenation and the today function so basically I need to open quotes do greater than and equals to and close quotes then I need the concatenation symbol, which is the AND symbol, to join it together with the TODAY function. I need an open bracket, and then I'm going to type TODAY, open and close bracket, so that's today's date, minus 10 I want, minus 10 days, and all of that can be inside brackets, so all that's part of one thing. And then comma, back to the criteria range 2, which is this, this range here called STAT, type stat comma and then I'm clicking on to the first cell reference you could actually type the word complete in quotes but it obviously makes more sense to have a little table I think close that bracket tick the formula and it comes back with five which is the same as that and then if I pull that across don't need to worry about dollar signs because I've used names and that gives you the same information as it does there so that is the formula i've just put it on there obviously you need equals in front of that but that's the formula that i'm using you can see the concatenation symbol there and this greater than equals needs to go inside these quotes for this to work so whatever date range you want you just change that so if you wanted that to be in the last 30 days i don't know if there's that many dates on there actually probably just you can change that to 30 and then just need to pull that across as well so 30 and 16. and if i um pull some of these down so these changes this just reacts to whatever is in this list because that's where it's looking at. So that's a, a quick look at how you can use the COUNTIFS function with the DATE function or TODAY function uh, to give you a list of information based on how many days in the past it was. So hopefully you found that useful. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Catch you on the next one. Thank you for your time.